back to this 2015 Toyota Corolla S. You've seen the first video on this and you've seen what the pressures were before. I just recovered the refrigerant and I recovered 405 grams. Okay, 405 grams and the factory fill spec is 450 grams. So after I fill it, let's see what the customer says. His complaint was, it's, now remember, it's only just a little over an ounce, about an ounce and a half low on refrigerant. Can an ounce and a half of refrigerant make a difference on a hot day on how well it cools out of the dash? Let's find out. Upcoming videos in a series, three vehicles in a row. We're also comparing pressures on the same day at the same time of three different vehicles, the Kia, the Toyota, and then there's the 2000 BMW. You know those guys who say they use pressures to fill up a car or they use a, a PT chart or something like that? Let's see how full of bullshit they are uh, when we have three vehicles cooling at the same rate, all factory filled, but yet the pressures will be all different. And same with those guys who use the little jack-off cans. They're shaking up and down with the little stupid gauge on it that says if you're in this green, you're good. Let's see how that goes. Watch the following videos for the outcome.